We don't live in a context where Christianity is just thought to be true now. It's just a given. Frankly, Christianity is kind of confusing. And there are lots of weird things that Christianity asks you to believe. It's not that analytic theology promises to strip away all mystery from the Christian faith. That'll never be done. But what it might do is help us locate sort of where the mystery is and why it should be there. I think what analytic theology tries to do is try to explain those truths, exposit them in such a way that makes them a little less weird so that people can have a little more confidence being able to say, oh yeah, I believe, I believe Jesus is God and man. Yeah, that's totally what I believe as a Christian. It helps you come up with a faith that is coherent or helps you defend a coherent version of Christianity. And it can help make the faith then also viable Analytic theology is a way of doing constructive Christian theology that uses tools and ideas of a particular philosophical tradition, analytic philosophy. It really prizes arguments, evidence, logical coherence, things like that. So you're kind of like breaking it down to its smallest component parts conceptually, and then once you've got clear what those concepts are, you can fit them together like pieces of Lego into an argument that you can then present and say, okay, here's an argument for this conclusion. You're seeking to give an account of the nature of the world, trying to build constructively uh, like a large Lego city or something like this. In this case, a, a kind of way of thinking about the whole world. Really, it's just kind of a new way of doing what the church has always done, which is to foster some kind of dialogue between theology and philosophy. In the weekly seminars we've had, we really had some like world-class theologians and philosophers come in yeah. and, and share with us. Because it's a very small setting here at Fuller, the seminars are often very intimate, and we spend some time both before and after the seminars with these top scholars, and that's just a tremendous opportunity. So each year we have a colloquium where we bring together pastors from the LA area to talk with us about analytic theology and what difference that might make to life and ministry. We have three themes. The first year is on prayer, which we're just completing. The second year is on divine love. And the third year is theological anthropology in conversation with the sciences. So what we hope for for these three years is to encourage various research projects, papers, books, so forth, on these various topics. Analytic theology, I think, has the promise of being a kind of lingua franca. In other words, a kind of common language that can be spoken between people working in very different sorts of disciplines. I'm optimistic about down the road of analytic theology continuing to be of service to me in this task of teaching the people of God about the things of God, being able to understand them and articulate them in a way that's relatable, that's clear, and it provides people with a connection between these abstract truths and, and their lives. <laughs>